Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Gretchen and today I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about my reaction to the Women's Prize long list for fiction being announced. So first of all, the reason that I'm whispering is because I'm traveling again for work and I'm filming this from my hotel room and it's getting a little bit late and I don't want to bother uh, any of my neighbors. So I do apologize for the audio. However, um, I just wanted to make sure that I got this video out. This is not a fancy video. I'm not going to edit it. I am just going to very quickly go over my initial thoughts and reaction. Um, I did look at the list earlier in the day. Um, being in Vegas, I am eight hours behind uh, when the prize was announced. So it was 10 a.m. for me and I was still working and it was a long day so um, I didn't actually really get to fully look at the list until um, I got back to the hotel. So I am first just going to address the fact that based on my predictions video I only got two, which I'm perfectly okay with. I am more than happy because this list, almost like last year's Booker, is very much filled with books I have never even heard of, uh, which is so exciting for me. And I am really um, excited about that because it seems like the book prizes have really taken it upon themselves to use it as a platform to introduce us to a lot of new authors, which I think is fantastic. We had a lot of uh, well-known and uh, respected authors that had eligible books this year and I put a lot of them on my predictions list but I do love the idea that we're kind of letting the new group come in and get some of the love which I, I think is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, so only two but totally happy with that. The predictions lists are just a fun thing to do. I don't expect to get any of them right and anyone that I do get right I'm always happy with. Now the thing, let's talk about what shocks me about the prize and what happened with the long list. So there were a couple of standout things for me. So first of all, Let's talk about the snubs <laughs> because I think that there were a lot of books. There were sub, there were a handful specifically that I am really surprised didn't make it because everybody was predicting them or if not everybody, there were several people that predicted certain books. So there was a lot of crossover on a lot of book or I should say on a lot of lists. So the ones that I was shocked, um, so we had um, No Tom Lake, uh, No Julia. Um, Julia is probably the most surprising one because I think that that was consistently on almost everybody's list. And I think that uh, I was expecting that for sure to be there. Now, the other like big hitters that I thought were going to really stand a chance, um, Jasmine Ward uh, didn't make it, Eliza Clark didn't make it uh, for Penance, um, and the other book that everybody was talking about was um, The Storm We Made, and we didn't see that on the list either. So that was kind of surprising because that was the one that was right up there with Julia as far as people thinking that it would make it. Now, the next thing 
and I already kind of mentioned this, there are so many debut authors. Um, so we have a lot of books that were likely not on any of our radar because we were not familiar with the authors. So I, once again, think that's wonderful that we're now exposed to all of these new authors and we can start to read their works and learn their craft. So, so happy about that. Another surprising thing is, um, I'm going to get this just off my chest now, um, Western Lane. So if you have watched any of my videos, if you follow my channel, you know that I am not a fan of that book at all. I read it for the Booker Prize when it was long listed last year, didn't like it at all. When it was shortlisted, I thought, you know what, I'm missing something. I need to read it again. I think I disliked it even more <laughs> the second time. So I was very, um, I, I wasn't shocked to see it on the list. I just personally was quite disappointed because I have such a a complicated relationship with that book and I was really hoping um, to see another book in its place but that's me I know that I'm the problem um, I'm definitely the minority everybody else uh, for the most part seems to absolutely love that book I just don't get it and I promised myself that I would read the long list in its entirety. Um, I have already read that book twice. I am not going to put myself through a third read. I just can't do it. So we're going to count that one as read. Um, so now I have 15 books uh, to finish. The other thing that was shocking is there is a lot of historical fiction, which I know we typically see a good bit of that on the Women's Prize, but to me, because I was not familiar with a lot of these books, as they were describing them in the video, I just kept hearing historical, historical, historical. So that was very surprising to me, and it didn't really seem like we had anything too experimental. Um, I'm thinking that maybe we're going to see those in the form of the International Booker or the Booker a little later on this year. The other thing that I was really happy to see is we had an Aussie. <laughs> I've been talking, I mentioned it a couple times in some of my videos about how um, we don't really see a whole lot of Aussie fiction um, coming out. It's never in the forefront. And I remember back in the day when the Aussies had their moment and it's so nice to finally see them back in the running uh, for some of these prestigious literary awards. So I was definitely happy to see that. Um, so my two predictions that I did get right were Soldier Sailor and The Wren. The Wren. Um, and I, of course, will be reading those. Um, I will likely get to The Wren, The Wren before Soldier Sailor. Soldier Sailor still isn't available in the States. I don't think it's available to us until September, so I'm going to have to get my hands on a, a UK copy. Um, but I do have a copy of The Wren, The Wren already, so I can start that as as soon as I can. Um, the, the last thing I kind of want to talk about are the books that I am super excited that made the list um, that I was aware of and I've been wanting to get to, and this is just going to be a the perfect reason for me to do so, and that is uh, River East, River West, um, Ordinary Human Failings, Night Bloom, and Enter Ghost. I intentionally did not put Enter Ghost on my predictions list. It was one of the ones that was in the final cut, and it almost made it. And the reason that I didn't put it there is because the Women's Prize doesn't typically seem to be the platform for political books or books that would be making a political statement. And I am actually 
pleasantly surprised that they they did it they went ahead and against a, a lot of people's assumptions decided to put a book like that on the list so I was very um, shocked but also very pleased to see them taking that stance um, and I Enter Ghost is a book that I've been wanting to get to for a while. It was actually one of my predictions for last year's Booker Prize and it didn't make it. So I'm really happy to see that it is getting some type of recognition um, and that it is up for a literary prize because even though I have yet to read it, um, it seems very relevant. It seems very um, challenging and it just seems like something that is going to be a really pertinent story and I'm really looking forward to getting to that one. And then um, looking at the list here I just want to just I don't know a whole lot about the books I haven't had a chance to research a lot of them but the ones that I was not aware of that I'm most excited or intrigued to read um, I think are going to be Hangman. That sounds really interesting. And uh, in defense of the act, I was really kind of taken aback when that was announced and when they talked about um, it defending suicide. Um, that immediately was just shocking to me that they would be bold enough to put a book like that on this list. So that immediately uh, intrigued me. Um, Brotherless Night is another one um, that sounds really interesting. And the other one that really jumped out at me was The Blue Beautiful World. Uh, that sounds to me like it's going to be potentially the most divisive or polarizing books that might be on the list. From what I understand, it tackles climate change. And anytime I think of the Women's Prize and their attempts to put a book in the running related to climate change, I always go back to Pod and I don't really want to have another book like Pod to have to read again. So I'm really hoping they got it right this year. And yeah, so I'm excited about the list. We have, um, I think, a little over a month and a half maybe um, to read the um, the the long list. Now, I don't know if I'll get the entirety of the long list read by then. I will for sure read them all prior to the prize being announced in June, but I just have so many other books to read with the nonfiction prize, um, the uh, Republic of Consciousness Prize just announced their shortlist today as well, and the International Booker, which I just posted my predictions video for that. That's going to be another 13 books to read, so I don't know if I'll be able to get these. Uh, I guess it's technically 15 books because I've already read Western Lane. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of those done by the time they announce the shortlist, but I will do my best. And I also, um, because I've just really started looking into this, I am pretty sure there's going to be some books on this list that I am going to have a really hard time getting because once again, I'm in the States, this is a UK based prize and they always tend to have books that are difficult for us to get. So we'll see what happens, but my goal is to not pressure myself to get them all read by the time the shortlist is announced, but to make sure that I focus on getting them all read by um, the time that the winner is announced in June. So we are so in the thick of 
Pride season now. I'm so excited. Um, I mentioned that the Republic of Consciousness shortlist was just announced, and I'm thrilled with how that list turned out. And yeah, so it's exciting. I'm really looking forward to this. There's a ton of books here that I have been wanting to get to and there's a ton that are brand new to me and I love that balance so here's to another women's prize for fiction season and I will talk to you soon I'll have I'm sure some reviews to post um, I'll probably um, try to put those in a playlist as well um, just to kind of keep everything organized because there are so many different prizes that are going on right now um, so uh, you'll see the individual videos but then I'll put them in different playlists as well to kind of keep the content organized in case you don't care about one of the prizes and you want to focus on one over the other so um, keep an eye out for that and until we read again bye